how to use dget function in microsoft excel hello everyone welcome to excel 10 tutorial in this function explained video series i'm going to talk about the dget function it's a database function and it's a great alternative for index and match and vlookup okay let's get started <laughs> dget function can pull data from your database based on multiple criteria okay if you have a single criteria you can use that if you have multiple criteria you can do that also which you cannot do using vlookup easily okay another important fact of dget function is that you can pull data from the left of your criteria let's say i want to find out the id number which is left of our name column Okay, I can get that ID number using dget function, which I cannot do using vlookup. Now let's use the formula and let's see what it can do. So we have a database here. This is our database range, which isn't in a table format. Okay, if you have your database formatted in table, it will also work. Okay, and now we are going to insert names here and we want to extract the cells based on that name we can also extract the id number of that salesperson which is at the left column of our database we can also extract the area for that salesperson okay. so here we are going to insert our criteria so the names will be here so let's write here robert now i want to extract cells of robert okay here so i'm going to write the dget formula write equal to and then write dget and here you can see two tips it says extract from a database a single record that matches the conditions you specify okay so let's double click here and the first criteria is database okay now here selecting this range is a bit different usually we can select a range but here we will have to include the column header inside this range okay so this is why it's a database function it must have column header okay and now let's fix that so we don't want to change our database okay now let's add a comma and the next parameter is field which field we want to extract we want to extract the cells here so here we have several options to specify that field. First, we can write cells within double quotation. It will work. Remember, your text must match the column name. Okay. The second option is the column number. So we have four column: one, two, three, four. And if I write here four, it will still work. The last option is to select a cell reference, which is I'm going to do here. Okay. Now, if I press comma, it is asking for criteria. So it will extract the data based on the criteria we specify here. So here the system is to select the column name and the input. Okay. If you only select Robert here, it will never work because it will not understand who Robert is and where to find him. So if I select here with column name, now DGate will understand we will find robert in the name column okay now let's fix that also by pressing f4 and close parenthesis press enter our sales amount is here so here is robert and here is his sales amount now if i drag this formula now here is his id number and here is his area Remember, you cannot drag dget vertically. It will never work, okay? Because if you do that, your criteria will not match, okay? So in this function, you will have to put your criteria with column name and data, okay? So here is how you can use dget formula. Now, here, here you can see the ID is placed right before robot which we cannot extract using vlookup but here it's easy it doesn't matter where your data is if it's left or right it will always extract now there are some opportunities with dget function you can look up text you can look up number 
and also you can look up using closest match okay now here we have robert let's write r o b it still works okay r o b e it still works but this could be a major drawback i will talk about that later now while talking about drawback let's learn some drawback of dgate function so here we have robert if i write here robert everything works but if our name or our criteria is not unique it will give us error okay so we have two robot here and we get an error usually using vlookup or index you get the first match but here you will get an error okay so here is a drawback now let's talk about another drawback let's say i'm going to give here id and i'm going to add here id number let's say bc2 and here i want to find out the cells okay so right here equal to dget select the database txt field should be cells and criteria should be this one close parenthesis press enter we have our cells here now remember i said it can get data from closest match but here we have id number bc1 and here we have bc11 12 13 14 15 and first three digits are same with this one so if i write here bc1 we get an error because it is looking for the closest match and our closest match has several duplicates so this could be an opportunity or this could be a major drawback depending on how you are using dgate function okay another part is that you cannot write here another name let's say josh and you cannot drag this and it will not work because our criteria range will be changed okay so every time we put a criteria here it should have a column header name and the input but we can also use multiple criteria here let's say we are going to find out name and area based on that we are going to find out cells okay so here our dget formula will be write equal to and then dget okay our database should be this one our field should be cells and our criteria should be this range okay so here we have two criteria one for name and another for area but we can select it using a single range here. close parenthesis present now here if i write here josh and if i write here area india it will not work if i write here united states Will work even if we omit this criteria it will still work so this is how you can use dget function in microsoft excel this could be a real opportunity for you or this could be a major drawback for you depending on how you use it but in general it's a great way to pull data from your database it's a great alternative for index match and vlookup function also it's a great opportunity for dynamic sort okay so if i remove all this and write the formula again so let's write write a name here and we want to find out the sales volume so write equal to dget the database also here you can include a name range as a database if you want to create a name range you can check out this tutorial it will still work so this is our database this is our sales field and our criteria is this one which should be fixed 
also our database reference should be fixed now if I drag it it's working fine let's write another name here you can see the value changes instantly it's a dynamic formula so this is how you can use the get function this is what I wanted to show you thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial please subscribe and share this video with your friends thank you